All right, today we are going to be doing another GSAP tutorial. This time is an update to a video that I have made a um, few months ago. And that is uh, when you scroll the page, the text sort of uh, highlights. And I will have a little screen here somewhere showing how that effect works. But it's catchwork, I would say, because it's not exactly the effect that you see all over these awards websites and whatever, where every word as you scroll gets highlighted, not the whole paragraph at the same time, if that makes sense. So I, I will have examples of, of the old video with the new video here somewhere so you can understand what I'm talking about. So let's get into it. All right, so we are starting with a blank page and we are going to be adding two containers at the top and at the bottom so we have space to scroll. Otherwise, this effect doesn't work, obviously. So these containers are just going to be super random, nothing special. I will set it full width because that's what I do usually. I will set it to 100 VH and duplicate. And I am also going to duplicate this again. This is where we are going to have our heading. We don't have to have the minimum height of 100 VH. We can go a little bit smaller this time. All right, so in this container, we are going to be adding our heading, all right? So, Let's drop a heading in here and I'm going to add some lorem ipsum and I will just drop it in here. All right. What I want to do actually is kind of give this text a different color. So I'm going to go with a very faint white, basically almost transparent. Yes, this is very important. This is the base color of our effect. So if you want this color, this effect to have a kind of a trans, not a transparent, but like match the color of the text that you are going to highlight. You could, for example, if you want this text to be red, you could do something like this. The base color is going to be sort of reddish, you know, but I'm going to keep my color, whatever this color is, is kind of a white transparent color. And I am also going to give this text a width, right? So, okay, we could also bring it in at the center. Actually, I don't want it in the center, to be honest. I'm just going to give it some padding on the left. Let's say keep that. It's okay. This is nothing important, all right? So we set our text. So I'm going to publish this and I will give this heading a class, okay? This class corresponds with CSS code and with our GSAP code. All right, so I'm going to first, let's bring in our HTML code, all right? So I am going to drop an HTML widget in here and I'm gonna add my code, all right? So let's look at the code. As you can see right here, we have the class, yes? And this is the HTML tag of our heading. So our heading at the moment, if we go to content, it is an H2. So you have to make sure that the HTML tag is an H1 or H6, but whatever it is here, you have to replace it in here. Otherwise it's not going to work, right? Okay. And as you can see, as a trigger, we have uh, a different class here. All right. So this class is going to go on the first container because this is where our effect starts to, to happen, to, to, to be triggered from. So let's say in here in the CSS class space, we're going to call this or going to give this class a name of about. All right. Let me publish and let's add our CSS and I'm going to add it right here in the container where my heading is. You can even add it, add it in the heading uh, container or whatever uh, custom CSS space. And let's just have a quick look. Let's see if this is actually working right now. So our animation starts here, right? and it ends right there. So this is perfect. It ends 
almost perfectly here, right? I think this is so cool. This is one of those effects that can make any, any website amazing. So I think this is so cool. All right. Another thing that I want to say is that if you go to the GSEP code, you will see here that in the color, we have the word white. You can give this a color hex code, for example. So let me just go to the style of our, um, text color I'm going to go let's say orange okay I'm just changing it to orange to get the hex code and I am going back to what we had before oops all right this is not the one so it's somewhere around here anyway so let's go a little bit to HTML and drop it in here all right Nothing changed here, but it will change as we scroll. Ta-da! So the color of the text that is being highlighted as it highlights needs to be changed there where I mentioned. So keep that in mind. And this is so, oh my God, it's like one of the best things. Seriously, this is one of those effects that hands down, it was worth waiting for. <laughs> All right, and another thing, quick thing I want to mention really quickly is that, for example, if you make this text bigger, for in our case, it's just the, by, default, by default this size. So let's say, oops, this is too big, but let's say, hmm, let's go to this size. Let's give it a little bit more width. Let's see what happens and I will explain some things. All right. I mean, it still looks good, but if you want this effect to happen, let's say uh, around here or even at the top, you will have to change the, the start and the end of this animation. So at the start, let's say we have a 10%. So it's going to start 10%, 10 percent 10 pixel 10 percent at the top of uh, the top of the page so let's see you see it's starting a little bit later and it is ending still perfectly at the top so yeah i freaking love this it's so amazing let me just go back to white because the effect is more i wouldn't say actually more dramatic it's the same as, as dramatic as orange or other color but this is i would say the classic right so how cool is this boom i love it so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. If you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here or here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.